Hello, friends. Thanks for joining me on this Pray Together episode. I am just so thankful that you take the time to pray for brothers and sisters in Christ who you don't even know, but who have very pressing needs. And as part of the body of Christ, it's just vital that we do so. So thank you. Thank you for taking this time. I have five or six prayer requests here that I'm going to be praying for, and I just invite you to pray with me as you're listening. And if you have a prayer request or some kind of praise that you would like to share with the Morning Mindset listeners, you can find out how to do so at the end of this episode. So for now, let's just pray together. Father, we come to you just believing that you are the God who answers prayer. In that way, our prayers are praise. They are acknowledgement of your greatness and your wisdom and your capacity for handling all the burdens of all the people on earth who are calling to you in prayer. Lord, we depend on you. We rest in you for our confidence and strength and provision and, and deliverance, all these things that we're going to be praying for, Lord. We lift to you because you are the only one capable of doing something with it, and we are grateful for that. We're just so thankful that you've made yourself available to us to listen to the cares of our heart and the concerns that are shared in these Morning Mindset Pray Together episodes. And we ask you, Lord, to listen and to hear and to answer according to your perfect will. Father, our first request comes from an anonymous friend who is asking us to pray for her friend who's struggling with depression and is suicidal, even cutting themselves. Father, we ask that you would, first of all, bring insight and wisdom to this listener who wants to be of help to her friend. I'm thankful that she has shared with, the, with her friend about the Lord, that she has been faithful to do so. But Lord, we pray that you would use that little seed that's been planted in this friend's heart to break through the depression, break through the suicidal tendencies, to break through the self-destructive tendencies, and to show yourself as the amazing, loving, compassionate God that you are. And that this friend would open her heart to the grace and mercy that you have for her. Father, I ask that you would enable her to turn, make a huge turn around this point in her life to be able to trust you and to see the light of Christ that can set her free. Lord, Andrea is one we want to lift you. She's asking you to give her direction regarding her life. She has a desire to do what she says is something more with her talents. And she knows those talents are from you, but she just really doesn't know what she's going to be doing. And Lord, I take great comfort in knowing that you are not confused or concerned about our situations when we're in a place like this. You hold Andrea's life in the palm of your hand and you have a course laid out for her. It's not a mystery to you. It's not a source of anxiety or fear or doubt or concern for you. You are entirely confident in what you are doing. And I pray that you would enable Andrea to borrow some of that confidence, to understand that you are working good in her life, even now, when it seems like there may be something more for her in the future. But she's not quite there yet, and she's eager, and she's anxious to get there. And Father, I pray that you would just infuse her with a confidence that produces patience and produces peace so that she can wait for your timing. Lord, give her joy in the waiting and help her to avoid guilt that may come from her feeling like she's supposed to be doing something else but isn't because she doesn't know what it is. Father, just show her the, the illogic of that kind of thinking if it comes her way, that she can just rest in you and wait on you, the one who's responsible for showing her what she should be doing to reveal it in your good time, Lord. I ask that your grace would be showered on her, that she would experience your presence and your guidance and your peace right now. Lord, we have another anonymous friend who's asking us to pray for her friend and his wife who are seeking to have children but have been unable. Lord, I ask that you would miraculously overcome whatever biological obstacles are going on and enable them to have children, Father. I pray you would give them that great desire of their heart. And through this circumstance, show them yourself. Show them how powerfully you are working in their lives and that you are a good God who loves to give good gifts to your people. 
Father, I ask for their communication as a married couple to be good and that the frustration and, and bother of this situation would not cause them to get, be at odds with each other, but that they would be unified and, and strong in their, their desire to move together. I pray that the husband will have wisdom to seek the Lord and to lead his wife spiritually as the leader of the home. And I pray, Lord, also for this friend who's so concerned that you'll give her wisdom in how to be involved in this situation and if she should be and, and, and that she will trust you to help this couple through your divine power, Father. Lord, we lift up John, who's asking us to pray for his brother to be delivered from alcoholism. Lord, we ask that John's brother would see and savor you as his highest desire that his alcoholism would pale in comparison to you in his mind and in his devotion. And Lord, that he would not only break the psychological chains, but also the physical chains of alcoholism, Lord. Connect him with people and with programs, with organizations that can help him. And Lord, give him the will to break through and to resist this temptation, Lord. I pray that you would undo all the destruction that alcoholism has created in his life and restore to him a great sense of well-being and peace and hope and that he will see you clearly as the source of all of that. Father, we're asking you to be a blessing to our friend Shava, who's wanting to get over his relationship with a previous girlfriend. Father, that is a very painful place to be and resigning yourself to the fact of a person you've been so close to being gone from your life can be so difficult. But Lord, I ask that you will enable him to move on with his eyes on you as the most important person in his life. Lord, I ask you to grow him and give him wisdom and faith in you, that your grace will overflow in his life so that he can experience victory over this longing for something that is a part of his past. Father, give him hope for his future. Give him satisfaction in the present and enable him to experience just the peace and the joy that comes from being with you in your presence day by day by day. And Lord, give him eyes that look beyond people as a source of satisfaction and see you as his source of hope and satisfaction. Lord, James is asking that we pray for a college friend of his who's come down with cancer in his lymph nodes. Lord, we pray for, or in her lymph nodes, we pray for healing and for provision so she can continue with chemo treatments. Lord, I know it's an expensive proposition to be treated medically these days for something like cancer. And I ask that you'd provide abundantly in every way for the the payments that are needed for that. And Lord, I also ask that you would encourage her in the Lord. You'd strengthen her faith and grow her strong through this hard trial. You'd enable her to dig into the scriptures and find examples of biblical characters who demonstrated what it's like to trust you in the difficulties. People like Job, like Daniel, like Joseph, Lord, that you would enable her to walk a path that brings you great glory through her simple childlike dependence in you as she goes through this difficulty. Lord, I also want to pray for my sister, Pam, who's undergoing cancer treatments and who's just come out of a surgery to remove uh, some cancer. Father, I ask that you would bring great healing I thank you for the peace that she's had. I thank you for the, the, the powerful way in which you've given her confidence that you are at work in this. And I just ask that you would enable her and her husband to be drawn to you in this. Father, that their, their relationship with you would grow and that they would be at ease knowing that you were in full control. And Lord, I also want to lift up, as I often do, my aging parents who are in their 90s and living out their final years in a care facility. And Lord, I'm thankful we found a great home for them and that they're being taken good care of. But they get lonely and my mother gets frustrated as my dad deals with senility. And Lord, I just ask that you would bring great light into their lives today. Show them yourself in new ways. And Lord, reach into my dad's confused mind and draw him to yourself. Show him yourself so clearly and so powerfully and enable him to be trusting in you as his savior on a very basic and childlike way, Lord. And Father, I want to thank you for the Morning Mindset audience, for all the people who have come around to support us in producing these episodes and producing the daily episodes. Father, it's such an encouragement to know 
that what you led me to do three years ago is actually bearing fruit and people are benefiting from it. That's my goal. That's all I want, Lord, is for the church of Jesus Christ to be grown and strengthened for times such as this that we're in. So thank you for that. Thank you for everyone who's partnering with us and helping us to do this. And Lord, I also want to lift up our government officials around the world, the ones who are making decisions that affect us all during this COVID-19 pandemic. God, there's all kinds of theories going on out there about how this started and who's behind it and if there's some conspiracy. Father, I pray that you would give believers in Christ a deep sense of peace in knowing that no matter what men are trying to do or what they're not trying to do, you are in control. You control viruses. You control presidents and prime ministers. You control the corporations. You control our life and our death, our thoughts and our feelings. Lord, you are over it all. And that is a place of comfort, Lord, when we can come to that realization. So I pray that your people would stand up in confidence and a sense of peace, that we would not be part of the panic, but we'd be part of the solution that points people to the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for being our God, for being the one who cares for us and guides us in this situation. We thank you for being so faithful. You not only have taken away our sin, you have given us hope now and the promise of a glorious future. And we are so, so indebted to you. Thank you, Jesus. We pray these things in your name, Jesus, because you are the one who purchased our redemption by your blood. And it's in your name, at the name of Jesus, that every person under heaven and on earth will one day bow and proclaim that the name of Jesus is above every other name. Thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Friends, thank you again for praying with me. If you have a prayer request you would like to submit for us to include in an episode like this, you can do so by going to the website page, carrygreen.com slash prayer. And there's a little form there that you'll fill out, give us all the details, and we would be happy to include your request in an episode like this. Friends, thank you again for praying for brothers and sisters in Christ around the world. We will pray again together soon.